Welcome to the So Simple Handheld Quick Start Guide video. In this video, we'll go over how to thread your So Simple handheld sewing machine, how to sew with it, how to wind the bobbin, and how to change the needle. First, we're going to thread and set up the machine. When you first get your machine, it may be pre-threaded by the factory and ready to use. If so, take a close look at how it's threaded before you try re-threading it yourself. If it's already threaded, you can move on to the next section on how to sew. Caution: Always unplug the machine and make sure there are no batteries inside before you thread it. Otherwise, it may start up if you move the power switch accidentally. To thread your machine, first take up the short thread spindle and slide a bobbin of thread onto it. Or you can use the included spool pin if you'd rather use a spool. For this demonstration, we'll use a bobbin. Insert the spindle back into the hole with the bobbin, with the thread going counterclockwise. Insert the thread through this thread guide from right to left. Place the thread over the top of the tension dial and pull it down so it slides in between these two tension discs. That's a very important step. If the thread isn't wedged in between these two discs, there will be no tension on the thread and it will get tangled. Next. Place a thread through this guide from right to left. This is a guide marked with 3. Thread the hole in the take-up lever from front to back. Put the thread through one final guide, the one marked with 5, this time from left to right so that it goes toward the needle. Finally, thread the needle from left to right. If you like to use a wire threader to thread the needle, put the wire loop through the needle from right to left. Put the thread through the wire loop and pull the wire loop back. This will pull the thread through the needle eye. Now you'll need to catch the bobbin thread. Press the bobbin cover and pull it out toward you. Take out the empty bobbin if there is one and put in a new bobbin with the thread going counterclockwise. Leave about 2 or 3 inches of bobbin thread hanging out. Hold the needle thread loosely with your left hand and turn the hand wheel in the direction of the arrow with your right hand until the needle goes down and comes back up to its highest position. Gently pull up the top thread with your left hand. The bobbin thread should appear through the hole under the needle. Pull the bobbin thread the rest of the way up through the hole. Now you should have the needle thread and the bobbin thread hanging over the edge of the machine like this. Put the bobbin cover back on. The machine is now threaded. Caution, always make sure the power switch is in the off position before you plug the machine in or insert batteries. If you want to use the batteries, open the battery cover by pulling up like this. Carefully pull out the battery holder. Insert the batteries according to the polarity markings on the machine. Put the battery holder back and replace the cover. Or, if you prefer to use a power cord instead of batteries, leave the battery holder empty and plug in the power cord at the back of the machine. Congratulations, you've finished setting up your machine, and you're ready to start sewing. Next, we'll go over how to sew. Now that your machine is threaded and connected to a power source, you can start sewing. It's always a good idea to sew on a scrap of fabric first to try it out and make sure you've threaded the machine correctly. Raise the presser foot by pushing up the presser foot lifter. If the needle is down, raise the needle by turning the hand wheel. Put the fabric under the presser foot and lower the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel to the right to lower the needle into the fabric in the place where you want to sew. Next, slide the power switch to start sewing. The machine will start right away when you slide the switch. Slide the switch back to the off position to stop. If you find that the stitches don't look right, you may need to adjust the tension. Make sure the thread is pressed between these two tension discs, as discussed earlier. If the thread on the bottom of the fabric looks like a straight line or is messy and loopy, turn the tension dial clockwise to increase the tension until the stitching returns to normal. If the thread on the top of the fabric looks like a straight line or is messy and loopy, Turn the tension dial counterclockwise to reduce the tension until the stitching returns to normal. This machine has a two-thread lock stitch, just like a full-size machine, 
so the stitches don't easily come unraveled. However, like with a full-size machine, you will probably want to reinforce the beginning and end of your seam. The sewing machine does not have a reverse lever, but don't worry, there's still ways to reinforce your seams. One way to do it is to sew a few stitches and then simply turn your fabric around and sew a few stitches in the other direction. Then turn it back around and sew over what you just did, and then continue and finish the seam. At the end of the seam, do the same thing again. If the size or shape of your project doesn't allow that, you can also tie a knot with the ends of the threads after cutting them. When you're done sewing, raise the presser foot, raise the needle, carefully take out the fabric, and cut the thread. If the fabric is difficult to remove, turn the hand wheel back and forth, and that should loosen it up. Don't pull hard on the fabric or thread, because that could bend the needle. If you need to pull more thread out, always pull it from above the needle first, and then pull it through the needle. Now we'll show you how to wind the bobbin. First, remove any fabric that might be in the machine and unthread the needle so that it won't sew while you're winding the bobbin. Insert the pin into the hole on top of the machine, lining it up so that it will fit in the hole. Place an empty bobbin on the pin. Attach the spool to the front of the machine and put the thread through this thread guide as shown, or hold the spool loosely in your hand. Put the thread tail through any of these holes in the bobbin. Turn on the power switch. The machine will start right away. Caution: The needle will move while the bobbin is winding. Always keep your hands clear of the needle area while doing this. Guide the thread with your hands so that it winds correctly onto the bobbin, but do not touch the moving parts of the machine. When the bobbin is full, turn off the power switch, remove the full bobbin, Take the pin out of it and cut the thread. For your convenience, you can put the bobbin winding pin back into the battery compartment to store it. Next, we'll go over how to change the needle. Caution! Always remove the adapter and or the batteries before changing the needle to prevent injury from accidental startup of the machine. Turn the hand wheel to raise the needle. Hold the old needle and use a screwdriver to loosen the needle clamp screw. Remove the old needle and discard it responsibly. Next, insert the new needle. You may have to put the point of the needle into the hole under the needle area in order to get into the needle bar. Insert the needle into the needle bar with the flat side toward the right of the machine, that is, toward the handle. Be sure to push the needle up as far as it will go into the bar. Then tighten the needle clamp screw. Now you're all set to use your machine for hemming, mending, crafts, and more. We hope you enjoy sewing with your so simple handheld sewing machine. Thank you for watching.